Hey everyone, I'm Mark Sievers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm really excited to show you my new recipe for Tom Yum Soup with Tofu. So Thai food for Ryan and I is a really special part of our lives. It was actually what we went out for dinner as our second date in Seattle. We went to a little restaurant on Capitol Hill and we went back to my apartment afterwards and dyed Easter eggs because it was right around Easter, drank champagne, and then clearly the rest is history. So, but I'm no Thai food expert. Thai cooking at home, Thai flavors, it's really complicated. There's so many layers and you have to have the, the knowledge and the nuance of lemongrass and turmeric and just lots of ingredients that I didn't grow up cooking with and I'm sure maybe you didn't either. I found that, and I've posted my yellow curry potato salad before, I'll leave that up right here for you. I found that Blue Elephant, all of their pantry products are like my new favorite thing. I, I cannot imagine the past few months without them having them in our pantry. You can, it's authentic ingredients sourced locally from Thailand. It's real Thai flavors, they're all natural. And for Ryan and I, it's just really a wonderful, quick and easy meal to pull together with just some tofu, some vegetables, and maybe a bowl of rice. So today's soup, while the flavors from Blue Elephant Tom Yam Soup are 1000% authentic, I'm gonna also add a couple extra little ingredients and give it the MJS twist that maybe are authentic, maybe are not, but I know that it's truly delicious. So let's get started. So the first thing I need is broccolini. And if you've not seen broccolini in the grocery store, it's just kind of like smaller broccoli, a little tender, a little bit sweeter. And I need one bunch, about six ounces. And I've separated the florets just like this, and you can even eat the stems. Now, some of the stems are a little bit thicker, and some of them are a little bit thinner. So the thinner ones, I'm just gonna chop into three quarter inch pieces. And the thicker stems, I'm gonna slice right down the center and then chop those up too. And notice everything is going onto a sheet pan because everything is gonna get roasted. Then I have some beautiful French string beans. I love these because they're a little bit thinner, a little bit more tender, and they cook faster. So I've got about three ounces of those. I've just trimmed the ends and then cut those into three quarter inch lengths. Some beautiful frozen green peas. I'm not using those little petite peas. I'm using just a regular, good old fashioned green pea, whatever size that is. And then I have a graffiti eggplant. So graffiti eggplants are much less bitter than regular eggplant and I love them so much. And you don't have to peel them. And it matches my shirt. <laughs> so I've taken the ends off and I'm just gonna cut it into basically wedges. About cut it into six. This seems to be the perfect size. And this adds nice body to the soup. And it just also absorbs all of that delicious Tom Yam soup flavor. And I'm gonna get these to eh, between a half and three quarters of an inch. It doesn't have to be perfect. Put those on the sheet pan. I love recipes where everything goes onto the sheet pan. Now the only thing that's a little different for me and I don't use it a ton is tofu. So what is happening here? What I've done, and I've taken a block of extra firm tofu, and I've lined it between two rolls of paper towels, and I'll show you what happens. Look at all this excess water that drains off. So all of that extra liquid is really gonna help that tofu in the oven kind of dry out a little bit, which I like. I like that dried up texture. And now I'm just gonna chop it into some half inch dice. And you'll notice I layered this tofu between two dinner plates and put a really heavy can on top. That just kind of helps weigh it down. You can put a stack of bowls, you could put a cookbook, my cookbook. <laughs> you could put all kinds of things, just something nice and heavy to help weigh it down. Everything like this, et voila. Some olive oil, about four tablespoons, just drizzle it over some salt, about, th about three quarters of a teaspoon. I use sea salt, perfect. 
and some freshly cracked black pepper, the same amount. Clean hands, toss it all together. And what this is gonna do, this is gonna roast in a preheated 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes. And everything is gonna get nice and caramelized. The vegetables are gonna be perfectly cooked and we'll be halfway there to our tom yum soup with tofu. So come with me. So preheated oven, 400 degrees. Oh, nice hot oven. It'll make the house smell good and warm it up a little bit. Set my alarm and here we go. So let me show you what I have on the stove. So I have a nice heavy bottomed pot here. And what I have inside is that delicious blue elephant tom yum soup. And I have two packets of that, some diced fire roasted tomatoes just from a can, and a can of coconut milk. And all these measurements will be at the website marksievers.com, so don't worry. And you'll see I'm putting some fresh lime zest. I love Thai food with limes. I think it's synonymous and this really does kind of give a little bit of an acidic edge that is perfect in Thai food. So while the vegetables roast away, this is just gonna sit on the stove and simmer away. And we're about 15 minutes from soup. Time to clean up. And there's my timer. Let's see what I've got. Oh big tray of roasted vegetables and nice tender tofu. I love this. And it smells really good too. So what I love the most about this soup recipe is it really does come together in like 20 minutes. Big half sheet pan filled with roasted vegetables. You have a little saucepan on the stove kind of gurgling and bubbling away. And then it's all about just assembling and then eating, my favorite part. So I think what I'll do is I'll make one serving for me now. And I'm gonna put the vegetables, I'm gonna divide this up. This serves about four people for a main course or six as a soup course. So look at that, nice, beautiful, tender vegetables. Then, mmm, tom yum soup. Blue Elephant really makes it so easy. It's such beautiful Thai flavors. And I'm just gonna ladle this over the vegetables. Oh, this looks so good. It smells even better. And my toppings. I have kind of a, a little variety of toppings here. I have some microgreens. I love microgreens and I'm, I use them a lot, but I don't kind of recommend them a lot of the time because they're sometimes hard to find. And I've noticed that in a lot of major grocery stores lately. So if you find microgreens at the grocery store, pick them up, try them. They're a great source of nutrition and protein and all that good stuff. Plus they are add like the perfect pop of green. Food always looks better when it has a pop of green on top. So a little food styling trick. And some roasted cashews. So these are just unsalted cashews that I've toasted in a dry saute pan, medium heat, five to seven minutes, shaky, shaky around a little bit until they're nice and golden. Some green onion. Mm, I love green onion, a little bit of crunch. And some limes, I love more lime. Mm. And I even put the lime right into the soup. And if you dare, some more red chilies. I love spicy food. This soup already, the Tom Yum soup from Blue Elephant already is kind of a sour and spicy soup, but I'm gonna add even more spice. Ryan stays away from this. And these are just little hot red chilies. These are finger peppers and they're really spicy, but I love them. And look at what a beautiful soup this is. It really has a wonderful kind of presentation factor. I love that it's a whole meal, it's a soup meal. It, it is after all soup season. 
And really, when you try blue elephant tom yum soup, you'll see what I mean. It really is like the most beautiful, authentic Thai flavors that you can possibly get in a little pantry staple little box. I just love it. So head over to MarkSeavers.com for the full written recipe for my Tom Yum soup with tofu. Of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and check your local grocery store for the entire Blue Elephant collection of pantry staple products. There's yellow curries, red curries, green curries, different soups, uh, kefir lime. They have beautiful rice, a pepper and garlic sauce, which I love. I mean, really, make this winter all about Thai cooking from the comfort of your own home. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, okay. Oh. Mm. I have a big bite of chili. <laughs> mm. <So> good. <laughs> Bye, guys. Mmm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. I love this. This recipe and more can be found on my website, markseavers.com. Thanks for watching.